I'm excited because I get to say astrophysicist. Oh, very that, good. Huh? Yeah. They work Look at you geeking like last out. Time. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love. Oh. Oh. Well, I don't know. Okay. So she loves them something. Off. She loves okay, something. You know what we'll she might love? About that. Conchas, conchas like these. I mean, these are next level conchas. And yes. Christina Chio from La Concheria is here. Oh, these are so good. What's your secret? We bake at a lower temperature yeah. for a longer time okay. to ensure they're li very soft, like little pillows. Okay. Ooh. And always love. Oh, my goodness gracious. And wait, see some of the other baked goods here. These are, you've never had conchas like this. All right. No. Mom's the word. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, indeed. Homecoming season, mums. Boy, have they gotten big. This is an actual mum. Look at the size of this they thing. They are getting bigger. They are getting more elaborate. Try not to break it, Mike. I heard I'm, something fall, and yes, we are indeed. going to show you how some of these creations come to be. Oh, speaking of big, the big give is kicking off tonight, 6 p.m. We are going to have a preview of that. And, oh yes, get ready to geek out because you got to speak with Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? Yes, he has a new book out called To Infinity and Beyond, and what a great guy to talk with. We chatted for a long, long time. We've got a two-part segment, and we're talking about space. What's out there? What's out there? So we want to know, do you think there is intelligent life on other planets? Scan that QR code and let us know. There is, but they couldn't make a mum like this. <laughs> So temperatures have jumped up to 91, 92 now, and we're going to be up around 98 this afternoon. A very hot day, heat index 100 plus. That'll be the case really, honestly, through Saturday, even in, into parts of Sunday, before we finally start to see some relief Monday into Tuesday. We still have got some decent rain chances, it looks like, Monday afternoon into the day on Tuesday, guys. Thank you, Justin, and thank you for watching the News at Noon with us. Intelligent life on other planets and mums. Interesting combination. And plus food. Oh, it has food. Always have food. As a live starts right now. It is our fall into fall week. Hello and happy Wednesday, everybody. And wait to see what we get to taste here because it's a really happy Wednesday. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorostiza. And we've got an exciting show today. Besides delicious treats, we're hearing about the secrets of space yes. from a celebrated astrophysicist. Dr. Neil deGrasse Just Tyson. fun to say, okay? Uh -huh. He even talks a little bit about the possibility of intelligent life or mm -hmm. just life or both on other planets, any and all of the above. In other words, like little green men and women or something like that out there. So question is, do you think there is intelligent life on other planets? I know, you know, sometimes they might find little like the amoebas running around or something like that or, or I say things. Yes. But, so, you yeah. know. I say yes, so scan that QR code and weigh in. Okay. Be an interesting topic. And if you have comments to add in, throw those in as well. So, okay, back here on Earth, we are helping you get ready <laughs> for fall. And if you have you ever had you do that. Let oh me try this again. Gosh. And if you <laughs> haven't ever had a concha with your hot cup of coffee on a chilly morning, you are missing out. Christina Chio, owner of La Concha, is here to show us some of her fall oh flavors and how you take conchas to the next level. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yes, I did sample some of the conchas just to do research. And the nice a thing, lot. He so sampled these, a lot. You can eat without having to wash them. I mean, these are the most moist conchas, and your secret is. We bake at a lower temperature right. for a longer time, and they stay really soft, like little pillows. I love oh. that description, little pillows. I just want to lay down right here. It's what the, the customers say. I didn't make this up. Yes! Okay, and what sets you apart is that you stuff your conchas. Tell us with what yes. and how we can get started. So we make them in mini size, mm -hmm. and then we slice them in half, mm -hmm. and we have different spreading flavors. Right here, Mike has dulce de leche, mm -hmm. and Fiona has the Nutella. Yes. And then <laughs> we top them with strawberries. Oh, strawberries yeah, first, I'm strawberries sorry. Strawberries first. Like you can this. use that little knife. Okay. Yeah, there you go. A couple more on uh, there. There you go. And then, yeah, add your strawberries. Now first. the whipped cream. And now the whipped cream. Oh. You, and then you top it. With the lid on. With, there you go. And then you take a good bite. Uh, uh, don't mind if I do. There's no, there's no graceful way to do that. <laughs> it looks so good. 
Okay. That, that's the best, one of the best creations we've had around here in a long time. Okay. And we're the only ones who have this in San Antonio. Okay. And so you have different sizes, right? We you mentioned do. these are the minis and those are the most popular, these right? Are, yeah, people love to have the minis. I guess it's because you can have one or two or three and nobody's no going to say anything, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We also have the bites that you have over there. And we have them in cute little boxes, so if you want to, like, gift them over there, those are minis. And those are going to be perfect for the holidays as well, exactly. because there's, what, six different flavors in there? Six different flavors. You have them over here. Okay. And by the way, we want to talk about that giant one as well. So that's the fourth size. So we've got the regular size and then that big one there. There, Yes, the jumbo size. Wow. Okay. Back to some of the different flavors that we have mm -hmm. and the whole kit and caboodle over here. So let's go through them starting over here. What do we have? So right here, this are regular size. We have vanilla, mm -hmm. churro, and chocolate. Okay. And over here, minis, we have Oreo. On it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good let good. us know what you think. Oh my God. Isn't that good? It's so good. I told you. Talk oh. about your okay. <laughs> so we have back to the Oreo, mazapan, mm -hmm. churro, and abuelita, which is the mm. Mexican chocolate. Okay, then the little bits right here in front. Oh, what yes. are these? We have empanadas. On this side, we have pumpkin, of course, because okay. the season, and we have dulce de leche. All right, and these once again are so nice, and the crust is so moist. What's what the crust is so simple and amazed me. Only three ingredients: we have butter, cream cheese, and flour. That's, and that's it. That's all it's made out of. That's it. Yes. Mm. And you even have a concha bar. Yes, what which is, is, is right here. Ah, okay. We do all kind of events: uh, weddings, quinceañeras, corporate baby shower, birthdays, you name it. And to order, everything is made per order, right? Right, which means you place an order, I'll be baking just for you. Oh, see? Oh, he I likes know. to feel special. I, he I, is so I, special. I do, uh, I do. Okay. I'll tell you one thing. You gave us a picture of one of your biggest fans, right? Oh, yes. That's my daughter, my middle child. We bake almost every day, morning and night. I mean, I can be baking at 3 a.m. in the morning or be getting up at that time. And she gets excited to watch the conchas grow in the oven. Oh, that's <laughs> and, so cute. By the way, there's also some cinnamon rolls right here, yes. which are every bit as good. And if you want to place some orders for uh, the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas coming up here, Better do it now, right? Better do it now, because we're getting super booked for Halloween. Mm. Oh, so that, good. Who's they can even what? talk. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, for more information say, read that for on us, La Concharia, <laughs> just snap that QR code on your screen or head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay. So, Not just saying this, the best conscious you've ever put in your mouth. Yeah. Okay, go with that cinnamon roll there. So The big give kicks off tonight and this is a reminder to reach out to your go-to nonprofit organizations you know who could use some help yes indeed and Argenta Biostrowski went out to Clementine restaurant where they're teaming up with Roy Moss Youth Alternatives to give back so take a look the big give kicks off tonight and one of those nonprofits that you can help is Roy Moss Youth Alternatives and Julie Healy is joining me now and we're at Clementine restaurant here in Castle Hills and there's a nice partnership that you guys have but first let's talk about what Roy Moss Youth Alternatives is all about. Okay so we're really excited because as you said big give kicks off tonight at 6 p.m. so we're really hoping the entire community participates it's become a day of collaboration and collective giving where everybody can come together and, and help other people. So um, we are really excited because we've partnered with Clementine um, to support our theme, which is Be a Hero. So we had the same theme last year because um, what does it really mean to be a hero, right? It doesn't necessarily mean slinging a web or flying with a cape. It means helping other people. And so we're really happy and thrilled to, to partner with John and Elise. So let's talk about what your nonprofit mm -hmm. does and how it helps families. Right, okay, so Roy Moss Youth Alternatives has been around for 47 years and um, we 
provide um, comprehensive care and counseling for children who are in or at risk of entering the Texas foster care system. Then again, you can help them and the partnership here, we have the Big Give, which is like you mentioned, so helpful, so many nonprofits involved. Right. And you guys are partnering with uh, John and Elise yes. Russ here at Clementine. So now we are gonna get a recipe, superhero themed, of course. Right, right. right. Cause we hope you'll make it with your kids and talk to them about being a hero. And I'm here now with John and Elise Russ, the owners here at Clementine. And you guys are gonna make a superhero themed healthy snack for kids, right? Yes, so we have three kids aged six, four, and two. And we are always struggling to find something that A is easy, that will keep their attention to make, and then B that they'll actually eat. And so John is going to make one of their favorite treats. We found if you cover anything in ranch dressing mix that they'll eat it. So. So we've got hominy, the same thing that we put in our pozole. Uh, we've got chickpeas, the same thing we would use for hummus or other different soups. A little bit of olive oil and some ranch. And so what I do is I'll take the cans and rinse them a little bit and then I'll put them into the bowl so we can kind of mix them up a little bit. And just like a simple quick mix and then I'll kind of pour them out on some paper towels. And this is kind of like the, the I wouldn't say like the, the part that like you lose a little bit, but like I know if I middle daughter loves to like sneak her hand in and grab a bunch of these at this point. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just always kind of like smash it around and say, no, no, no. Um, but, but they also like to help dry everything yes. off. Yes. And so we'll take them off the paper towels just really quickly. And I know it seems like it's like a big mess like in this space, but um, we'll take them and just go straight into the oven. Um, it cooks for about 10 minutes. And then when they come out of the oven, we'll toss them with a little bit of the ranch dressing mix and a little bit of olive oil, which makes them super duper crunchy. And so I've pre-baked a little set for us to try if you'd like to taste. Yes. And with the magic of TV, we get to have these are them. Um, and they're crunchy, they taste like ranch, there's a little bit of fresh olive oil, and really the fiber and the protein really kind of help to create a really healthy, balanced snack. I love how easy it is to make. Now you guys are partnering with Roy Moss Youth Alternatives for the Big Give, which kicks off tonight. So let's talk about why that's so important to you. Uh, being a good community partner is more than just being present in your, I don't know, your simple space. Um, as a business. So every year we would like to partner with several different nonprofits. Roy Moss is one of our favorites because we truly believe that every child deserves a chance to move forward in life and to be able to grow and to have happiness. For us to be able to help uh, with them and their big give um, it allows us a chance for our staff and for our guests and for the broader community of San Antonio to also understand that you know the kids are, are really important and sometimes we need to give a little bit more to some kids that don't have as much as our kids do. Well said, and Elise, you guys also have these nice wine boxes, so if someone comes in and dines in, and the kids with Roy Moss Youth Alternatives decorated them, not knowing yes. that they were for wine, by the yes. way, but how will that work as, if someone comes in and wants to purchase a box? Um, so we have them on sale. Um, they are $150 each, mm -hmm. and the profits from it will go to Roy Moss um, to help with their big give efforts. Thank you for the superhero themed healthy snack. I will be trying this with my kiddos. For more information on the big give, you can head to our website, salive.com, click the as seen on as a live tab, or scan that QR code on your screen. Thank you. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live to infinity and beyond. That's the name of a new book by Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he's helping us understand and learn the secrets of the universe and what he says about life on planet, on other planets. Plus, we're always looking to save you money. Did you know you can get a popular ice cream dessert for less than a dollar? What you need to know to cash in on this cool deal. The details are coming up in the next half hour. But first, of course, fall means homecoming season where you can get some elaborate moms to make your students stand out and tips for making your own. That's next on SA Live. SA Live. Well, whether you want your students to stand out, I think that's an understatement, okay, <laughs> for homecoming, or you need your event to pop, we need a bigger word than pop, our next guest can help. <laughs> okay, Monica Saldana, owner of Lucy's Hands, is here with some trendy designs for homecoming moms and other beautiful floral designs. And, okay, everything is bigger in Texas, I know that phrase, but yes. oh my goodness gracious, you're taking this to the extreme almost, aren't yes, you? Yes, yes, I sure am. Um, 
I have all my orders recently that I've received have been nothing but big mums. I have not received anything small as of yet. Can you stand, yeah, yeah, stand next to it just to give it some perspective here. So I'm six foot tall, so my shoulders are what, about five feet. This mum right here, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off if I don't wreck the I hook right now. I, I, I know. I know. He really, he's been eyeballing this for the last two hours. But look at, and okay. this is how, this is how folks. Oh, oh I can't be the happiest boy in the world. This okay. is how folks wear them. Yes, they sure do. They even have lights on it too. Walk. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yes. Walk a little. There's bit. a little thing in the back right there. You get to turn on the light. Oh my gosh, turn on the lights. And then walk a little bit. Oh goodness gracious. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> oh wow. Walk with okay, it. I want this, to see it move. Okay, I'm, <laughs> Walk. I want to see it move. Oh, it jingles you too. You used to be a model. Like, go on, walk. <laughs> yeah, look at this, that. This that, would get heavy how, after a while. How yes. heavy is it? I don't know. It's what, about five, ten pounds worth? I, I honestly, I don't know until I take it off the hook after I'm done with it. And wow. Then I deliver it and it's up to them how long they wear it. Okay. It's amazing. So it's beautiful. We are going to be making a much more watered down version <laughs> of what we just yes. saw, right? Yes, correct. Okay, how do we get started? So, you're gonna take your base. Mm -hmm. We had started on it for you, just the beginning of it. You're gonna go ahead and finish it out. So I numbered these in the back for you. Oh, yes. bless you. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. So this will go here. You'll kind of just follow what it shows over this way here. Okay. Oh, so you're gonna step. make it like an upside down B. So this is a two. Yeah, okay. that, well, two's right under here, sorry. Now, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> but you're just gonna follow as you go. You're just gonna copy this side right here. Now, when people order, obviously it's, you know, what school is it, and they say, I want a lot of bling, I want over the top bling, and do they say, I want this thing to be four feet tall? Yes, they do. They give me their measurements. Um, they'll tell me how tall they are. I have mannequins at my house, um, so it helps me adjust the height, so I know exactly how long. How long does it take to make something that big like that? It could take anywhere from maybe six hours to a day. It depends on how detailed they want it to be. Um, some people do personal things, like personal touches to it, like they want a prayer on it or they want um, a memorance on it uh -huh. or love mom and dad or or a picture. Okay. Wow. It just depends. It all so depends. So whose who's mom is bigger? Usually the parent or the student? The student. The student the is student. bigger. Okay. Yes. Yes, because they all like to be in competition with other people that have mums. This is just amazing. Okay. Now, if somebody wants to You'll order, that out right how far uh, advanced okay. do they need to do it? Because, I mean, we still have some homecomings coming up, right? Yes. It, I would like at least two weeks in advance so mm -hmm. I can make sure I have everything. Um, I order daily from different places all around. Um, San Antonio, like um, Travis mm -hmm. and other craft stores. And um, what I do is I get everybody's stuff as it comes in in the order so I don't have to keep making trips after trips so I can stay home and work on the mums and get them done. How many feet you of glue. Yeah, you'll glue all that on stuff there. do you buy every year? A lot. <laughs> wow. A lot. I have, uh, my garage is full of ribbon, full of all these trinkets. We buy every year new tubs of, of different things that we finish with at the end of each homecoming season. Okay. And so where does the name Lucy's Hands come from? Well, Lucy's Hands comes from my grandmother. She was a florist. Um, I used to live right next door to her. So Aww. as growing up, I would go over there next door and watch her and then get into things I'm not supposed to get into <laughs> and um, try to be creative while, while she was doing it. And, and then growing up, I had my own kids. They got in sports. They needed mums, um, so I was like, okay, well, let me take a shot at it. Let me try to do these mums myself because ordering them, I mean, people that take their time, it, it really can be expensive. And speaking of floral, you also do flower designs too. And yes, those are I sure do. Gorgeous, sure right do. there. Yes, um, real floral. I do real floral, silk. I do balloon arches. I do selfie frames. I do centerpieces for all occasions. Wow. I, I try, if, oh, if I get asked and done. I don't know how okay. to do it, I'll do it. You'll, you'll figure <laughs> it out, Absolutely right? beautiful. Yes. If you need a mom for homecoming, this is the lady to call because those are absolutely gorgeous. More information on Lucy's hands, of course, just snap that QR code right there at the bottom of the screen. Stephanie Cerna would love that Hello Kitty one. Yeah. Or uh, go to uh, salive.com, click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Thank you so very much, Monica. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, if you're not ready just yet to give up summer, one restaurant has some tasty drinks 
that can help you feel those tropical vibes. And next, travel to the cosmos and learn the secrets of the universe. We chat with legendary astrophysicist about his newest book and the incredible journey it tells. That is straight ahead on SA Live. Well, it is definitely the final frontier. Of course, we are talking about space, and it, it keeps revealing its secrets over and over again. And in the new book, Infinity and Beyond, one of the world's most celebrated astrophysicists is here to help decipher the clues that are definitely written in the stars. Of course, we are talking about astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is going to tell us about his new book. Welcome, like I said, I'm a big fan. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I think you're you're really a fan of the universe, and I'm just helping you out in that <laughs> in that ambition. Yes. Okay. Well, the title to infinity and beyond, of course, that that comes from the movie. But I mean, that really does describe space. So, what can we expect reading this book? Yeah, I think you're. I mean, you're right there. But th this notion of infinity in a, in a in a sort of a in, in the spirit energy of curiosity. Like you can go back hundreds of years, and if you're standing on Earth and you say, okay, there's a moon up there, how might I get there? That's a quest beyond the known laws of physics and any kind of technology at the time. But that shouldn't prevent you from having that dream. So this book chronicles people's efforts to ascend Earth, go into the air. The first such folks were aeronauts. And the first aeronauts was a sheep, a duck, and a chicken. The people knew we're not going up there first. We don't know what's going to happen. So they sent up some animals. All right. And then but how, will, will that take you to the moon? No, that we need more technology for that. Now we're on the moon. We've been to the planets, at least with our robotic emissaries. And we're still dreaming about traveling beyond. And so the book explores the fits and starts of this human quest. And, and along the way, there's the scenery. There are movies that have attempted the same thing. And I'll talk about them if they get their science right or if they get their science wrong. And that's the pop culture uh, uh, alignment of the science where you, I, we find that people learn things more deeply and in a more interesting way when we make that connection. And that's the DNA of, the, of my podcast, which is Star Talk. Well, and also with science, as you keep learning more and more and more, you learn what you don't know. And one example, you talk about how set aside things like the color of the sun. What other things are folks yeah. to learn like that? Yeah, everyone draws the sun as yellow. And, and well, have you really thought about that? Because when is the only time anyone ever looks at the sun? Well, it's at sunset, all right? where it's very dimmed by the crap in Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> and that and then filters out all of the blue light that was in the, the, the full spectrum white light. That is the sun. The sun ends up looking yellow and you say, oh, the sun is yellow. Now, it would not be yellow, it would be white. But no one says that because they only see the sun at sunset. So there's a bias that we have based on our own life experience and the methods and tools of science enable us to cut through that and establish what is authentic and objectively true in this world. And speaking of, of pictures and the way things look, a lot of pictures in the book from the James Webb Telescope, which I guess the best way to describe it, you know, the Hubble was great and this is just exponentially that much better, right? And we are going to hear all about that as our chat with astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson continues and what he has to say about life on other planets. And next, want to enjoy one last sip of summer where you can get some tasty drinks filled with tropical vibes. We're going to make them coming up. But first, Cirque du Soleil show is coming to town from November 5th through December 3rd at Nelson Wolf Stadium. Discover the bizarre world of Cirque du Soleil Bazaar, where acrobats soar through the sky, artists contort on stage, and dancers sway to the music. And you can enter to win a four-pack of tickets with premium seating. Just go to salive.com, click on the sweepstakes article. The contest will run today through September 24th. Again, just go to salive.com to enter to win, and good luck. Say live. Well, time flies when you're having rum. <laughs> if you can remember. 
<laughs> okay, and you, you keep <laughs> the, <laughs> the summer fun going with tropical cocktails because why not? How much rum you drink? Anyway, <laughs> Victoria Cardozo, bartender with La Familia Cortez Restaurants, is here to tell us about these limited time drinks. Ooh, and we've got a fancy bottle of rum. So, what mm -hmm. are we making first of all? So, you're going to be making what's called a Santo Libre. It's mm -hmm. basically a spin on a Cuba Libre. Okay. It's going to be very simple. So, just rum, go ahead, pour up as much as you want. That was a lot. Wow. <laughs> Well, I'm this one for Fiona, it sounds uh, like so. so. then what you're going to do is you're going to take half of a lemon okay. and you're going to squeeze it into that. All right, squeeze the lemon in there. Mm -hmm. And then just take about three mint leaves, give it a nice little slap, throw it in there, shake it up, and then you can just do what's called a dirty pour straight into the glass. Easy peasy. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay, there we go. This is it? Yeah. Wow, that is simple. <laughs> okay. All right. And then you just pour, pour it, it into in the glass, right? Yes. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to top it with Sprite. And this is actually a special for Hispanic Heritage Month, right? Yes, yes. We will be doing this at the restaurant so you guys can come down, having a little drink, you know, garnish with a mint and an orange. Yes, we love being we invited. Beautiful. <laughs> That's right. We'll be making these all month. Uh, that, talk about simple, yes, and that fresh mint smells so good. and. Uh, oh, 10 minutes from now is going to be amazing. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, so what am I making? Okay, so you're going to be making what's called Don Nano's Old Fashioned. Okay. okay. It's very, very simple. The cool thing about this is this sphere, you're, if you want to make it at home, you can pre-make it. It's going to be with coconut water and simple syrup. So what's going to happen is as that rum sits in there, it's going to melt with it. Okay. So you'll just pour oh. some rum in there. You tell okay. me when. There you go. Kind of like back in college. And there then you you'll be using cocoa bitter. So this is going to be, going to kind of elevate that taste and it's going to have an aromatic, you know, element to it. Okay. And so then you're going to take the spoon and just give it a nice little stir, stir, stir. stir. Okay. Throw in a couple of coffee beans, okay. a dehydrated lime, okay. and there's your cocktail. And these cocktails are at all of the uh, Lafayette yes, so restaurants, all of, right? Yes, so all of the, the restaurants are going to be kind of making these for everybody if you want it. You know, you know how to ask for it. Santo Libre and Don Nano's Old Fashioned will make it up real good for or you. Or just say the Victoria Specials and, and we'll mm -hmm. remember that one. So We can make it really special. What food would go perfect with this? Um, so as for this one especially, I would definitely recommend the Puebla. The Puebla is going to have a mole sauce and that's going to kind of really go well with that chocolate mm -hmm. element to it. Um, Santo Libre really can go with just about anything. If you wanted to keep it that little tropical feel, go for filet acapulco. It's a little fish, seafood, Ooh, you know. Tastes good. Meal. And that little bit of lemon in there really adds yeah. that little... Yeah, it'll mm, definitely it. help with that. Mm -hmm. I saw that go by on the screen. National Taco Day is coming up mm -hmm. October 4th. And they definitely do plan on having taco specials. Oh, that mm -hmm. sounds good. All right, for more information and, and these cocktails and all the upcoming events we talked and maybe didn't talk about, just go to LaFamiliaCortez.com. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Of course, he is one of the world's most popular astrophysicists. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson tells us what makes him lose sleep at night and what he says about life on other planets. And next, get your favorite Blizzard flavors for less than a dollar. Time is running out to grab this deal. What you need to know, our deal of the day is coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time for our deal of the day. And to celebrate the release of their new fall flavors, Dairy Queen is offering a small blizzard for just 85 cents. I'm there. All you need to do is download the Dairy Queen app on your phone and become a DQ Rewards member. It's a one-time deal. And if it doesn't pop up right away, it can take up to 24 hours to show up on your app. Now, don't wait because this deal ends this Sunday. September 24th. For more info, just snap that QR code on your screen or go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, earlier we started a conversation with astrophysicist and author Neil deGrasse Tyson about his new book, To Infinity and Beyond. Now we talk about the incredible telescope allowing us to see even further into space than ever before and life on other planets and what keeps him up at night. A lot of pictures in the book from the James Webb Telescope, which I guess the best way to describe it, you know, the Hubble was great, and this is just exponentially that much better, right? It's ex I, 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 absolutely as great as the Hubble was, because that was better than anything that came before it. James Webb makes the Hubble look like a, a backyard telescope <laughs> from Kmart. Right? 
So, so uh, the book is 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 produced by National Geographic. So you know they're going to make a beautiful book because that that's how they roll. And though it's also for readers, the book is 320 pages. It's a real book, but it's heavily illustrated. And these pictures remind you that we have our own technology looking out into the universe, turning it into our backyard. Now you can just pull o- open the window and look out and you can see in such exquisite detail the beauty and the majesty of the universe. So, yeah, this is this is the force that's pulling us forward. Th- this is the dream state that we have, such as when you were flat footed on Earth, wondering how you, would you ever get to the moon? Well, and also the, the, the more you can see and learn, learn about things like, say, black holes or planets not yet discovered. I mean, I remember way back when, when people talked about planets, they go, no, 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 there can't be planets. Or when looked up at the stars and said, oh, those are galaxies. Well, guess what? We learn now that those stars are actually galaxies. So you learn more about yeah, yeah, that, so, too, Exactly. Right? They're fuzzy things. Whole galaxies turn out to be what we previously thought were fuzzy, just fuzz in the night sky. So, so this quest to learn more, not only with the science, but the technology that goes with it, that's the hallmark of civilization. That's what, well, te- the technology that drives civilization is all there. And I gotta throw this in on the heels of yesterday's um, aliens that were put forth on display in, in, in Mexico. Um, you know, let's talk about aliens and images. Look at the look at the James Webb Space Telescope and how detailed those images are of, of nebula halfway across the galaxy. Yet the U.S. Navy is getting fuzzy images of alien spacecraft in our own atmosphere. So maybe <laughs> they should use the, the James Webb Space Telescope. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I, they, 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 they got to up the game of their detectors. That's all. That's all I got to tell them. All right. Along those lines and getting back to what we were just talking about, how, you know, theorize that there were planets. Yes, there are planets. That's been proven. Theorize that uh, those stars are actually galaxies. What's going to be the next proof that comes out? The next, I ah, told you so. Will it be life on other planets? Well, so, yeah, but that we kind of expect that, but that would be great. No one is saying there isn't life. No one who's studied the problem is saying there isn't life on other planets. So two categories of discovery. One is you discover something you're looking for and you expected it. Okay. Another one is who ordered that? Okay. That's a whole other category of discovery that also happens. And you can't predict that. All right. You can't say, Dr. Tyson, what are you going to discover that you don't expect? I don't know, because I don't expect <laughs> Well, I mean, so, <laughs> it goes without saying, yes. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, part of that for me, it borders on the philosophical and maybe even spiritual. It's, well, people say, what question do I want most answered in life? And I say, yeah, I want to know what dark matter is and dark energy, what was around before the Big Bang. Yeah, I want to know all of that. But really, I want to know what question I don't yet know to ask. I lose sleep at night wondering this. And then I wonder more, this will give me a nightmare if I do get to sleep, do we have enough intelligence as a species to not only know what question to ask, but to answer the questions we don't yet know to ask? This is, this is a scary posture because we like to think of ourselves as intelligent. Well, who defined us as intelligence? We did, okay? Right. There's not a third party that assessed this. So are we delusional in thinking that the universe will one day be fully understood by our feeble brains? I, I, I always think no about idea. that. The one that's so mind boggling is where's the end of the universe and then what's on the other side? Anyway, I have run out of time. I am so disappointed in that because I have enjoyed chatting with you, sir. We are gonna be looking at the stars in, a, in about a month around here for the big uh, annular solar eclipse. It's yeah, you know, we that's get going right near you guys. If not right, right here in San Antonio and then next April too. So anyway, thank yes, you very yeah, much, sir. Solar eclipse next April. Yep. You got it. Appreciate thank it. You. Nice chatting with you. Great talking with him. All right, next on SA Live, what is AFib? The warning signs that your heart could be in trouble and how you can get the help you need. Stay with us. 
healthy heart is, of course, central to very good health and can, of course, protect us from disease and other medical complications. Now, people with AFib have a significantly higher risk of stroke than, of course, the average person. Dr. Ronnie Garcia with Baptist Medical Network is here to shed light on what that is and what to look out for. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, you're board certified cardiovascular disease. What We hear about this all the time. What is AFib and how prevalent is it? Well, AFib is the uh, most common arrhythmia seen in adults. Uh, it uh, affects us uh, as we get to, uh, as we get a little bit older. It becomes more prevalent. About uh, nine percent of the population over the age of sixty-five are suffering with it currently. It's uh, characterized as a rapid, fast uh, arrhythmia of the heart where the top chambers of the heart are no longer contracting, but are quivering. Uh, and that leads to the sensation of the palpitations. So what are the, the risk factors for developing AFib? Well, they're actually pretty common. Uh, these are the type of things that we see most of us as adults uh, go through. High blood pressure, uh, diabetes, sleep apnea, coronary disease to include uh, vascular and valvular disease, uh, as well as some cases, thyroid disease as well. So what are some of the symptoms? I mean, how would I know if, if I had it? Would I feel something weird in my chest or, or what? Yes. Uh, actually, fairly common patients would present with what they describe as an irregular fast heartbeat. Um, normally, they'll feel this a lot of times when they're at rest. They'll feel like their heart is racing, pounding, skipping beats. Uh, in some cases, there are really very minimal symptoms and a patient can present with sort of shortness of breath and fatigue. Uh, what we most worry about is presenting with uh, a complication of stroke, which can be associated with this arrhythmia. Okay, so I guess the most important question is, are there treatments available? Yes, there is. Uh, and it's sort of in a stepwise fashion. The first thing we try to do is uh, figure out what your risk is for stroke with this arrhythmia. Uh, as the top part of the heart is quivering, there's a chance of forming a blood clot, and that blood clot can migrate and cause a stroke. So frequently we have to see what your risk is, and we try to place you on blood thinners. From there, then there are medications that we use to help slow down your heart, or to put it back into a normal rhythm with antiarrhythmic drugs. Further down the line, we have procedures like an AFib ablation that can give you a more permanent uh, lasting uh, uh, treatment for keeping the rhythm normal. So long-term prognosis? Excellent. Okay. Um, with good treatment, which is tailored by your uh, cardiologist, uh, should have minimal symptoms uh, and the prevention of stroke with medications, oral anticoagulants is uh, extremely effective. Uh, most patients are able to do a normal life, exercise, anything they want uh, with routine follow-up and the appropriate medications and keeping the heart rate under control. Okay, well, to learn more about cardiovascular services, call 833-229-3397 or visit the website baptisthealthsystem.com slash cardio care. Dr. Garcia, great information. Nice chatting with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, we make some of the most adorable little fall decorations. All right, earlier... We asked you, do you think there is intelligent life on other? Apparently, we're yelling it at you. Okay, Darren says, absolutely. We would be naive to think we're the only life on this speck of dust in this infinite universe. I agree, Amen Darren. That. Definitely, we are not alone. Do, 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 and, do, do, and like do, 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 Dr. Tyson said, do, do, do. it's philosophical. It's almost spiritual when you think about stuff like that. Yeah, kind of like, like the way we think about this show. Oh my 